In this video, you'll learn the cheapest and the fastest way to ship from China to the US or wherever you live. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and be sure to hit the bell button to be notified when new videos come out. Now, when you purchase wholesale products from China, you'll need a method to ship your cargo from China to the United States. And depending on the mode of transport and the weight and dimensions of your shipment, delivery times and shipping rates will vary. Now, this video is going to provide you with an overview of your shipping options and answer the following questions about importing from China. What methods of shipment are available for both small parcels and bulk shipments? How long it takes to ship from China? How much it costs to ship from China? How the pandemic has affected shipping prices? And the cheapest way to ship from China. So how do you ship from China to the US for large shipments? Now, there are three main ways to ship packages from China to the US when purchasing in bulk. Express shipping, air freight, and sea freight. And each method has its own pros and cons, and the correct choice depends on how quickly you need your products and how much you're willing to pay. Now, these three methods are applicable when buying from Alibaba or from a private label manufacturer. So let's talk about express shipping first. Express shipping is the fastest and most reliable way to ship bulk orders from China to the US, and the best express shipping carriers are UPS, FedEx, TNT, and DHL. Now, with express shipping, you can receive your packages in less than five days. But the speed and reliability of express shipping comes at a significant cost. The general rule of thumb is that express shipping typically costs about $2 per pound. However, during the pandemic, prices have nearly doubled to $4 a pound to ship a package via FedEx from Shenzhen, China to California. It's expensive. Second method is air freight. Air freight is the most economical option for shipments that weigh between 400 pounds and 1,200 pounds. And at prices 30 to 40% cheaper than express, you get the best of both worlds fast shipping, and lower pricing. However, air freight is more of a hassle than express shipping because you likely need to hire a customs agent and you also need to arrange for last mile transport from the airport to your warehouse. But overall, air freight is a good compromise in terms of speed and cost for medium sized shipments. And then finally, we have sea freight. For shipments over 1,200 pounds, sea freight is almost always the cheapest shipping option from China to the US. You pay a flat rate for a container, 20 or 40 feet, and you can ship as much as you can fit. However, the shipping times are significantly longer compared to air. Now, you don't need to fill an entire container in order to ship by sea. Instead, you can also opt for less than a container load, which is also known as LCL shipping. LCL is when several shipments are consolidated and packed into one container. And LCL tends to be more expensive because there's more labor involved in consolidating and separating out shipments. And the shipping times are also slightly longer than full container shipments. Now with sea freight, you also need to hire a custom agent and arrange for last mile transport from the port to your warehouse. But overall, the low price of sea freight is what allows an e-commerce business to achieve economies of scale. Now, how long does shipping from China take for large shipments? Now, shipping to the US from China can take anywhere from one to 35 days, depending on the shipping method that you choose. Now, here are the typical number of days it takes to ship from China to the US, depending on the method. Express shipping is gonna be one to five days, Air freight is two to 15 days. Sea freight to the west coast of the US is 15 plus days. Sea freight to the east coast is gonna be about 30 plus days. Now here are the average shipping times for express shipping to the US depending on the carrier. EMS takes three to 16 days. DHL takes one to four days. FedEx takes one to five days. And UPS takes one to five days as well. Now these times are approximate and depend on various factors. For example, the global pandemic has caused major delays due to a shortage of staff and shipping containers. Now, how much does it cost to ship from China to the US for large shipments? Now, the cost of shipping from China to the US varies depending on the shipping method, the weight and the dimensions of your package, and how quickly you need your goods delivered. Now, due to the pandemic, prices have increased significantly, but you can refer to these prices for approximate pricing and what to expect. Express shipping, four to $5 a pound. Air freight, three to $4 a pound. Sea freight, $5,000 to $10,000 per container. Now, during the height of the pandemic, shipping container costs rose to as high as $20,000 per container. However, sea shipment prices are projected to settle down to normal levels towards the middle of this year. Now, what is the cheapest way to ship from China to the US for large shipments? Well, the best way to ship from China to the US for bulk shipments depends on the weight of your shipment and the speed that you require. For all shipments less than 200 to 400 pounds, you should opt for express shipping. At this weight, it doesn't make sense to purchase a full container and the extra hassle of air freight and hiring a custom agent is just not worth the money. For shipments between 400 to 1200 pounds, 
Air freight is usually the cheapest option with fast shipping times. However, you should compare the sea shipping rates because sometimes LCL can be cheaper than air freight. And for all shipments over 1200 pounds, sea freight is almost always the cheapest method, but it's slow. Now, if speed is your main criteria, express mail is almost always the fastest way to ship. You don't need a custom agent and your goods will arrive at your doorstep. Now, how do you ship small parcels from China to the US? And by small parcels, I mean less than five pounds. If you need to ship small parcels less than five pounds from China to the US, there are three main options for you to choose from. Regular post, express shipping, and e-packet. These shipping methods are ideal when buying from AliExpress or samples from your wholesale supplier. Now let's talk about regular post first. Regular post is the most economical way to ship light parcels from China to the US. However, the delivery times can take up to 90 days depending on the method that's chosen. Now there's several different options for regular posts with different prices and shipping times. There's China Post Small Parcel Air, there's China Post Small Parcel Surface, there's China International EMS. However, the fastest regular post option is China International EMS, which takes between three and 15 days. But overall, regular post is the cheapest way to ship small products. However, as your package size increases, the price of regular post can become on par with express shipping. As a result, make sure you compare prices between express shipping couriers like FedEx, DHL, and UPS before making your shipment if your package is on the heavier side. Next method is express shipping. Express shipping via an international courier like FedEx, UPS, DHL, or TNT is the fastest and the most reliable way to ship from China to the US. If you need your products as quickly as possible, express shipping is by far your best option. However, it is also the most expensive method to ship small parcels from China to the US. And then finally, we have e-packet shipping. E-packet is a special shipping option that provides a fast and inexpensive rate when shipping small parcels from China to the US. If your package is less than 24 inches and the total length, height, and thickness of your package is less than 36 inches, e-packet shipping is actually the cheapest way to ship a package from China to the US. In addition, your package cannot weigh more than 4.4 pounds and the merchandise cannot exceed $400 in value. Now, to give you an idea of how cheap e-packet is, Sending a package from China to California with ePacket is actually cheaper than shipping from California to Nevada using USPS. As a result, ePacket is the preferred shipping method that AliExpress dropshippers use to send their products. Now, how long does shipping take from China to the US for small parcels? Well, the cost of shipping small parcels from China to the US depends on the shipping method and how quickly you need your goods delivered. Regular post is gonna be from seven to 90 days. Express shipping is one to five days in e-packet is seven to 30 days. Now, if you need your products as quickly as possible, express shipping is your best choice. Otherwise, e-packet shipping will give you the best bang for your buck. Now, how much does it cost to ship from China to the US for a small two pound parcel? Well, the cost of shipping a small parcel from China varies depending on the shipping method, the weight and dimensions of your package and how quickly you need it. Now, for the purposes of this example, the prices that I'm about to quote you are for sending a two pound package from Shanghai to the US. China Post Small Parcel Air, which takes seven to 30 days, would cost you $43. China Post Small Parcel Surface, which takes 20 to 90 days, would cost you $21. China International EMS, which takes three to 15 days, would cost you $49. China EMS E-Packet, which takes seven to 30 days, would only cost $14. And then finally, Express Shipping via FedEx would cost $74. Now, what's the cheapest way to ship from China to the US for a small parcel weighing two pounds? E-packet shipping is by far the most economical shipping option with a reasonable delivery time when your package weighs less than 4.4 pounds. However, delivery times can take as long as 30 days. Now, if you want guaranteed fast delivery, then express shipping via FedEx, UPS, DHL, or TNT is your best choice. However, the prices are significantly higher. Now, you also wanna be aware of Chinese holidays. Now, all the shipping times I just quoted are subject to delays due to Chinese holidays. And while all major ports in China are open 365 days, most factory workers and carriers are on holiday. Here's just a brief list of major Chinese holidays that will cause shipping delays. Chinese New Year, which is at the end of January to mid-February. The Qiming Festival is early April. Labor Day in China is in early May. The Dragon Boat Festival is in early June. Golden Week is in early October. And the National Day of the People's Republic of China is in early October. Now, during these holiday periods, China shipping is more or less shut down. Now, for all bulk shipments from China to the US, hiring a freight forwarder is highly recommended, even if your shipment is small. A good freight forwarder will guide you through your first shipment to avoid common pitfalls and find you the cheapest way to ship your packages. 
There's also many forms to sign when importing from China, and a good forwarder will help you understand everything about freight. Now, you should also be aware of the packaging and label requirements for your products so they can pass customs in your country. Hope you enjoyed this video. Now, if you like what you saw, there's actually a lot more where that came from if you subscribe to my channel below. And if you are interested in learning how to sell physical products online, then click over here and take my free six day mini course where I'll walk you through everything that you need to know to get started in e-commerce. Thanks for watching.